Passport 23RB here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, and it is a terribly drizzly day, and the way the wind is carrying the rain, this trailer's parked at the worst possible angle for me to do this right now, so you're going to see some umbrella in this frame for a while. Apologies. I'm doing everything I can to keep my lens clear so I can actually get through this thing. So let's move quickly because uh, with the, the weather the way it is, I'm going to have to really cruise through my outside tour. So this is a Passport Elite versus the Grand Touring. Um, what you'll see different, you'll see frameless windows, you see an upgraded roof structure, uh, you see a fully automotive painted nose cap, uh, you'll see LED lights under the awning, things you won't find on the, uh, the mid-series Passport, which is already a bestseller in its own right. Um, this is for folks who really like the amazing reliability we've seen out of our passports the last couple of years. They just want something a, a little shinier. This is a sweet little couple's camper. It comes in very lightweight. I'll double check the weight uh, when we uh, get to the door so I can uh, drop my uh, umbrella here. But uh, let's, let's just get started and I'll cover everything I can. Again, fully automotive painted nose cap. That means that you're not going to experience sun fading on this nose cap like you will a common color infused nose cap that was really common in like the 2013 series. Sadly, sometimes even within the first year, we've seen some really, really bad sun fading on a uh, color infused nose cap. You don't want color infused, you want painted. That is, that's it, period. Um, on the nose cap, at the base, you might notice that little grooves and whatnot. It has almost like a truck bed style uh, spray on liner at the base of it acting as your stone guard. Nose caps are really cool. They look slick, um, but they don't give you any stone deflection like a diamond plate would. So this recreates that. You might notice the sleek looking frameless windows. Those are doing the job of keeping the trailer uh, looking awesome. They're also UV tinted, so you do get privacy and that will help prevent sun fading of your furniture. And the seals are hidden under the window pane. Um, just like the Passport Grand Touring, we have 30 inch baggage doors, meaning extra wide baggage doors up front in that front pass through storage. And again, I am sorry I'm not moving around the trailer and pointing at this closer. I'm trying to hide behind a slide out over here because the, the weather's terrible, I'm sorry. But the bigger, wider baggage doors mean it's easier to get stuff in and out of your baggage compartment. They also weather seal the piano hinge on the baggage door itself so that it's just going to be less likely inclined to have a problem. Um, fully enclosed, uh, insulated, uh, forced air heated underbelly, so good extended seating uh, couples camper, and that's tricky to find in a lightweight. Um, power awning and power tongue jack. The power tongue jack is part of the Elite package. The power awning is going to be present on uh, any passport above the Express family. Uh, when you get to the Elite Series, though, it does have a full-length LED light strip. Now, pardon me, I'm going to do some blocking here with the umbrella so I can get it a better angle. On the back of any model that does not have an outside kitchen, you will have an RVQ grill. So the grill is included. This is the mount. It mounts right on the bumper so you can swing it around toward the doorway. You could actually kind of stand under the awning if the awning were out and do your grilling. Would be very nice to do today. Um, <laughs> The, uh, uh, if this model had an outside kitchen, instead it would just have a little cooktop outside. Now if you look at your roof line here, you'll notice how it wraps over the sidewall. That's what I meant by upgraded roof structure. It greatly enhances the strength of the entire structure of the RV. Not to mention the fact that um, it takes a very critical high stress point, which is this uh, um, where the wall meets the roof and it moves that seam to a very low stress point, which greatly reduces any sort of chance for failures and whatnot. On the other side of the trailer, we do have a, uh, a black tank flush, an outside utility shower, things that are not necessarily uncommon to travel trailers, and I would spend more time on them, but again, weather's terrible today. But what we do have here is ventilating windows on the sides of the slide out. That is a big deal. You know, your slide outs stick out further and they tend to get more airflow. So having uh, that uh, ventilation there is, is very nice. And this is on the Elite Series is where you start to see that from Passport. It's not that they don't have good ventilating windows otherwise, it's just that they have extra good ventilating windows there. Um, Passport's right on a wide stance stability axle system. This will help keep the trailer from pushing you in the truck around. You're going to get a smoother ride in your cab. That also means you're going to experience less wear and tear on your brakes and suspension and transmission and all that. And hey, good looking aluminum wheels, buddy. Nothing wrong with that. Let's hop inside here. See if I can do this with pretty much one hand. And so I can. Now I need to set the umbrella down without getting the camera all soaked. Here we go. Okay. Bear with me just a second. 
forgot the dry weight of this one when I was outside. 4760, that's all this weighs, 4760 pounds. Pretty darn good, pretty darn light. Let me lock the door behind me so we don't have any guests. Okay, oh, now I need to clean the camera lens. Once again, I apologize. Hopefully this will be the last time I need to apologize for weather conditions. All right, looks better. So, walk in, control panel right here. One switch, bang, all the lights come on. Makes a big difference. And these are backlit, so if you're awning lights on, uh, you can see that from inside. You can walk by, oh shoot, I forgot to turn that off, you know. Um, this is called the Granite Decor. I want to mention that because the decor we have on these could be different. We've uh, sold a lot of this model, and we've had it in different color schemes. So we've got a nice, beautiful looking leatherette sofa with a very sharp looking print on it. It's not just that uh, flat, shiny vinyl. It has a good look to it. That is a trifold memory foam sleeper sofa. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. So, Grandpa and Grandma, if you have, you know, grandkids come camping with you, you have a nice place for them to sleep. Or guests, you can sleep two adults here comfortably. Now, uh, when we move up to the Elite Series, we do get that arched barreled roof. It makes it 6 foot 10 inches tall at the apex here. Makes a big difference, especially for tall guys like me in the shower. I really, really appreciate that extra headroom. Um, naturally central air and central heat, like you would expect. Your window treatments here are kicked up a notch. You get these really nice um, wooden uh, plantation style blinds. And what's nice about these, you can actually clean them. You can really actually clean those things. Um, easy walk around bed. You can easily walk around this bed. And what's cool about this floor plan is if you're entertaining guests, you can kind of sit on the end of the bed like an extra couch, you know? Both sides of the bed will have stands. This stand over here is extended a little bit because of some of the components under it. Um, but uh, you see we do have a power outlet down there, so you can run like your CPAP machines and charge your phones down there. Um, your uh, TV and entertainment in this model is excellent. 32 inch flat screen TV on a swing arm mount, so it can face the bedroom, it can face the kitchen, it can face anywhere you want. It can face the sofa. There is no bad seat in the house. Also, we do have an all-in-one AM FM CD DVD uh, stereo system that's Bluetooth enabled. So if you want to throw a disc in on a rainy day, like today, and watch a movie, you're going to really be happy you've got that all-in-one entertainment center. Now, if you do decide you want to Bluetooth your phone to it, this, this stereo over here will reach like 30 yards away. I don't know if you realize how far that is, but that's like three or four campsites away. It's a lot of space. Um, your kitchen in this little thing is awesome. You have amazing storage in this little camper. Uh, you also in the Elite Series have uh, upgraded solid surface countertops, which is a very nice thing. Um, you have a, uh, uh, a nicer faucet with a pull-out sprayer, and you have uh, what I call the ladybug sink, because when it's opened up like this, kind of looks like a ladybug. <laughs> I don't know if that's the official name. But it is stainless steel, and it is undermounted. So if you are cleaning, you can just brush stuff in the sink, scoop it up, and be done. We've got great drawer space in here. And uh, if you want to bring along a couple little bar stools, you have a perfect little breakfast bar here with which you can do that. Um, the, what was I getting at? Oh, big, big drawer under the oven. That is huge. Not to mention the fact that we have all the pots and pan storage under the sink over here. They even extended the countertop over so that you have extra space over here. And in case you're wondering, yes, there are outlets in the kitchen. Let me flick this on. There are outlets uh, mounted under the cabinets on both sides of the kitchen here. So you do have, um, you know, uh, outlet space. But the walls are clean now, so you don't have to worry about that. If you're splashing water around, you don't got to worry about water getting into one of those outlets on accident. It's rare. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like that's a common problem in the RV business. I'm just saying it's a nice thing to not even worry about. And that's what I like about our passports. They don't come back with problems. These things are as foolproof and bulletproof and idiot-proof as they can get. I mean, testament to that, I'm in here and it's not broken. It's got to be idiot-proof. <laughs> Your upper kitchen cabinet doors, they are upgraded to a full hardwood insert. Because these upper doors take a beating. You know, especially if the grandkids are over. Grandkids don't take the handle and delicately close it. No, they put their hand here and they slam it. And that's how grandkids do it. But the fit and the finish, all these doors and drawers and everything, they're just, they're they are all square. They're hung right. They're done right. They get it done right at Passport. That's what I like about it. This is Keystone's number one uh, um, uh, ultralight, pardon me, for a reason. Um, this rear storage compartment here is awesome. A big pet peeve of mine, and you would know this if you've watched any of my videos, is when you get in something and you don't have a place to hang a coat or kick off your shoes. It's just a thing that just annoys me because I go camping 
and uh, I have a big pile of shoes by my door, and it didn't stop me from buying my camper, but keep in mind, I don't camp a whole lot because I got to be here doing these videos for folks like yourselves. It's the old uh, Catch-22 of the roofer with a leaky roof, you know. So I love this. I love that I have a place to actually put a coat. Um, I like that I have extra, you know, hat space and glove space and utility space, and I got a huge box down here for shoes. And uh, yeah, this is the perfect spot right here, this little drawer. You're like, what would I put there? You're going to put things like your flashlight, your grill lighter, your bug spray, your sunscreen, all that stuff that you always wish you had outside and you forget about. Open the door, grab it, hop back out. You don't have to track through your whole trailer. Now, these uh, doors in the Passport Elite do have an actual etch in them. They have a nice uh, ingrained uh, look at them. Very sharp looking. Um, before I forget, uh, we've done a lot of kitchen talk, but I didn't really point out the refrigerator where it's located, so there you go. Um, Stepping into the bathroom, we have both a power ceiling vent as well as a skylight. I don't need to turn lights on in here. The other thing I like to point out is the rear wall is accented. It's a darker wall to help it feel a little darker, a little um, deeper, rather, a little more open. Uh, we do have a foot flush stool, and we have lots of leg room here. Even tall guys like me, we do not have leg room problems in this model. You can see my toes are barely touching the wall if I stick my toes all the way out. Um, they leave all of your bypasses and stuff here uh, open where it's a little bit easy to get to some of your uh, bathroom plumbing and whatnot. But they, they even color code their plumbing, by the way, hot, cold, so that, God forbid, you need some kind of aftermarket work on this thing. It's easy to do, you know. Um, this is also a good space to keep your extra, like, toilet papers and whatnot. Uh, it doesn't sound like a big, fancy, flashy thing I should spend time on, but the fact that we have a good medicine cabinet here is important. You're going to use it every day. Every day, you're going to use that thing. Um, the uh, shower, because it does have the barreled interior roof, you do have uh, the extra headroom you need for a tall guy like me to stand in here. And we have, in, a, in this little 23-foot ultralight, we have a fifth wheel shower, not a travel trailer tub. Again, they're doing it the right way at Passport. It, they, they build them right. They, they, the little bit of service we've ever needed, these guys are awesome. They listen to customer feedback. I can see updates on this model from two years ago that weren't there. Little kitchen touches and things that people have reported. They listen. You know, and like giant windows, breeze through windows on the sides of the bed. Giant windows over here. Every window opens for ventilation, you know. The fact that we have a ventilating window here in the kitchen is a thing that you don't typically find. All that stuff adds up to give you a superior camping experience. And that's what you get in a Passport. It's lighter. It's easy to tow. It's easy to camp. That's the whole point. This is supposed to be fun and easy. And that's what a Passport represents. 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.